Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Before watching this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's start this video. The maritime law as environmental protection, the management in study case of sustainable operation to control emissions in maritime transport in ACA's area. The United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea or, or UN Clause held in Montego Bay coexist with a series of international convention of universal and regional scope which regulates related service to maritime activity based on supplying ships for system multimodal transportation fuels at sea. According to Martins 2008, UN Clause is the convention that consolidates historically important provisions and concepts that were created and target to the marine environment protection by the signatory states until then in the fight against pollution of the marine environment. These signatory states still corroborate almost entirely with measures aimed at increasing environmental protection, especially those related to environmental control of atmospheric emissions from the shipping emissions. In the 50s, the first attempts to combat the pollution of the sea, especially the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution of the Sea by Oil in London, May 12, 1954. Historically, the emergence of international law environment fits in legal phenomenology date since the 60s to regulate relations among states in the field of environmental protection. The maritime industry point of view due to the, evolu due to the evolution of this historical perspective, the supply industry, search filter and cut off the bunker tempering practices, in example, suppliers who commit adultery information on fuel quality as well as to data access to appropriate fuel technology while refueling. Thus, there are models of negative sanctions on violators apply in territorial waters where the performance conditions are poor and maritime surveillance, however, the imposition of penalties remains. But this action are insufficient and limited to systemic control of the maritime authority. Usually, the temperate fuel is the main irregularity of the owner who suffer from inadequate purchase of acceptable products as the type of vessel. However, in the act distribution or supply to the ship or vessel, the fuel can be tempered in delivery by offshore suppliers where enforcement appears more precarious and limited. <coughs> in this contains proof suit material is required to apply any kind of mandatory sanction of an environmental management model more collaboratively. Thus, the material proof is in analysis of the product or fuel and the competent authorities for environmental protection can more quickly analyze sorry, can more analyzes and engage in support with maritime authorities for their environmental quality control fuel level while refueling. There are several technological resources available for offshore surveillance happen, so the sustainable action should be more frequent maritime transport. This environmental control this environmental concern is the same as the strength of the understanding of the legitimacy of the maritime model eco-efficiency, which in fact it is less harmful to help, which can only be justified by the amount carried by voyage, considering the amount of power consumption and capacity production in transport activity. However, the effectiveness of energy efficiency also depends on the fuel technology management to support the eco-efficiency status in the management of supply which require environmental control on board and that this activity is increasingly becoming a part of specialization to ship owners 
The ship tonnage must achieve a more skilled labor for such inspection of the supply process in order to make the best possible quality control of these fuels so that they can so that they generate the least harm to human health and the and to the environment. To describe the importance about the service international practice of relating the sea, sorry, of relating the sea rules now provided from the UN clause defines that states parties commit states parties commit themselves to this convention watching the events from the United Nations Conference on the Law of the Sea held in Geneva in 1958 and 1960 have accentuate the need for a new convention on the law of the sea. The term environmental best practices exists systematically by means of a maritime protocol describing the application of the most appropriate combination strategy and environmental control measures. Based on benchmarking of that protocol, there is an understanding that the best practices are derived from a selection of measures four cases of individual and collective interest and therefore should consider premise on the following a the provision of information and education of the public and to users about the environmental conscious and to user about the environmental consequences of the selection of activities and choice of products their use and final display particular b the development and application of codes of good environmental practice covering all aspects of activity in the life of the product c the mandatory application of labels informing users of the environmental risk of a product its use and ultimate disposal d the saving resources including energy e for collecting the elimination of system available to the public f for avoiding the use of hazardous substances or products and the generation of hazardous waste g for recycling recovery and reuse h the application of economic instrument to activities products or groups of products i Establish a system of licensing for involving a range of restriction or a ban. The protocol in general and individual cases determining what combination of measures constitutes best environmental practice in particular, in particular should consider whether there is a. The environmental hazard of the product and its production, use and ultimate disposal. B. The substitution, the substitution by less polluting activities or substances. C. The usage level. D. The potential benefit or penalty of materials of the environment replacement activities. E. Advances and changes in scientific knowledge and understanding. F. The application deadlines. And G social and economic implication reaffirms in this protocol the promises of best environmental practices of supply for ship based on these guidelines and where it require action to a particular sort of change over time depending on the technical progress of economic and social factors of the activity can be inherent in any kind of changes are based on scientific knowledge and understanding to fuel technology apply on ship at offshore apply on ship at offshore stands out according to the concern of any pollution on the high seas should be associated with the given context by UN clause which ranks six specific forms of marine pollution first land based pollution called pollution telluric in article 207. Second, pollution from activities related to seabed under national jurisdiction, Article 208, Paragraph 3. Pollution from activities on the seabed, on the seabed and subsoil thereof, beyond the limits and national jurisdiction, 
or this space called the same area convention item 1. For pollution from dumping in article 210 and etc. Okay everyone, that's all this article today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next one, bye-bye.